to another episode of Live Your Life with Love It. Hello, my dear friends. You are welcome to this life-changing, amazing Live Your Life segment. And we are still on PowerPoint. Today, I'll be talking about values. Values. The Bible says in Galatians 3 verse 28, he said, there is neither Jew nor Greek, there's neither bond nor free, there's neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Christ. And Jesus said in the book of Luke 12 verse 15, he said unto them, take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisted not in the abundance of things which he possesseth. Luke 12 verse 15. Take heed. So what's my definition of value? To value something means to esteem, to rate highly, to treasure something or somebody. While values are those things you consider as worthy, important or useful. That's value. So Jesus said, take heed. And I remember last week we talked about perception. And I talked about uh, worshipping God rather than worshipping money, mammon. You cannot worship both. You have to choose. Values. And the question we keep getting time and time again is, do you value money more than God? Do you value mon- money more than people? It shows in the way you compromise to get it. It shows. Do you value your ego more than people? more than human life? Do you even value position? Because we know that there are many today who would kill for position, for gain, whether political gain or financial gain. Who kill human life, kill lives for that. But one thing we know according to the scripture is that every life is amazing. Every life is amazing. And God's divine instruction is that we value human life above things. He set the precedence. That's what the Bible says in John 3, 16. He said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only. I like the word, his only. He gave all he had for humanity. He gave all he had for humanity. The world is not trees and sand and water and the ocean. We're talking about human beings here. He gave for human beings. He says that whosoever should believe in him, will not perish but have everlasting life so he said whosoever he didn't say whatsoever whosoever he gave his only for a person for a human being for human life so god set the precedence here that we should value human life life and by life i mean female the life of a female the life of a male because it is, I mean, it's really cryable <laughs> that some people value certain uh, uh, gender life more than the other gender life. I mean, it's, 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 it's pathetic. So by life, I mean the female life or the male life, the old, the young, the youth, the boys, the girls, men, women, uh, big or small, tall or short, life, life. That's why Paul said there's neither Jew nor Greek. Male of, he said you are all one in Christ. You're all one. Every man or woman, boy or girl, is intrinsically of equal value. Equal value before God. Every life is precious. Every life is priceless. How much can you pay for a life? Every life is, is, is precious before God. Your values help you to define your limits. That's why I'm talking about values today. They help you define your limits. You must, as a human being, you must have values. If you don't have values, you live like an animal. And the society, people begin to to, to behave like animals where, where they don't have societal values. Your values help you define your limits. Your values are responsible for your actions because your value helps you to to, to make decisions, to decide and to take a stand. 
It's what you value that determines the choices that you make. That is just the way it is. If you value human life, that's what I asked before. If you value human life, you will sacrifice what you have like God did. He gave his only begotten son. He sacrificed his only son for humanity. You go the extra mile to, to make life worthwhile for another human being. But if you value money and you value your ego and you value your, 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 your position and, and your interest more than human life, that's where you see people sacrificing human lives because of political gains, because of gains, because of position, because of money. And all these things we are talking about, they will all die and live behind. They will all die and live behind because life here on earth is transient. It's transient. Values help you to take a stand. That's why Jesus said, the house divided against itself cannot stand. So don't tell me I am for this at the same time and I'm also against this. That's hogwash. A mentor once told me, he said, never wake up in a neutral. Never associate with anyone who is neither here nor there. Because nothing moves on neutral. No vehicle moves on neutral. No relationship moves on neutral. No society can make progress on neutral. No dream moves or finds fulfillment on neutral. You must take a stand. You must do something about it. It's either you are for or you are against. In John chapter 8 verse 11, look at what Jesus said to that woman who they accused that she was committing adultery only by herself and with herself. He told her, he said, neither do I condemn you. He said, we are those that accuse you. She said, none, no one is here again. And Jesus looked up to her and told her, neither do I condemn you. Because Jesus said, I've come to save, not to condemn. Not to condemn humanity or the world. I have come to save. He said, I am not condemning you. I am condemning this sin, not you. And he said, go and sin no more. Friends, I would like to encourage you to make this very critical decision for your life. Decision decides destiny and everybody is a product of the choices that they make. But this one decision is very important for you to make if you must live a whole fulfilling and meaningful life. So I would like to encourage you to receive Jesus into your heart today. Jesus is the embodiment of God's love. He's the Prince of Peace. You cannot really fully know true peace and understand or comprehend the, the depth of God's love until you receive Jesus. Why? God is love. I believe you are ready to live a meaningful life. And I would like you to say this after me. Father, thank you, Lord, for sending your son Jesus to die for my salvation. And he rose again for my justification. Right now, I declare that Jesus is the Lord of my life. I believe in Jesus. I receive him into my heart and into my life as my Lord and personal Savior. I declare that I am brand new and born again. For your word says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away and all have become new. I declare that I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father. For the gift of salvation for the gift of eternal life in jesus mighty name amen wow congratulations thank you for listening we do hope you have been blessed by those wonderful life transforming words join us next week for another episode of live your life with love it for more information, log on to our website www.liveyourlifeinternational.com. Follow us on all our social media platforms at Live Your Life International. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Live Your Life with Love It for more powerful messages. For prayers and counseling, call plus 234-8032-957161 or plus 234-8055-418986. Call and WhatsApp. You can also send your questions to loveitministry at gmail.com. Live your life, life according to God's purpose.